friends, it's Kelly here with Kelly Crafts. Oh, how are y'all doing? I'm doing just great. Um, I had received my uh, fall recipe book swap from Miss Debbie, and um, hers is going in the mail today or latest tomorrow. Um, so she's gonna be getting her box. Um, kind of got behind a little bit with uh father-in-law issues of his feeding tube came out one day and then we had doctor's appointments the next day because of that and it kind of got me a couple days behind so um I've let her know and she's uh fine with it and she told me you know when I get it to her you know I get it to her but I don't want it to be too late <laughs> so um I'm finished I just got a maybe a couple little things to finish up like in wrapping things that's and getting it boxed up. So let's see, what am I sending my good friend Miss Debbie? Now we'll start off with this. Um, made her a pillow cover. Um, this is just one of those pillow forms from Walmart. And um, I just did an envelope style uh, pillow. So, and I just did a uh, iron on transfer and put uh, this on here that she can use for decoration or she has you know a pet and she wants to give it to her pet to lay on that's fine too but yep we made her this little pillow here um let's see did her this i have a tutorial on my channel for this is the uh uh tissue box and um it just the lid on there. Sometimes I velcro them if they're a little loose, but hers fit really nice, so I didn't velcro it. And it just holds a standard box of tissues, and it has a gap there so that you can get your fingers in there and get the box out. So I'm sending her that. And then I did this little, um, I think it was Dreaming Tree. I want to say, and I re think this was a free SVG file. Um, but it was cute and kind of fallish, you know, the little, uh, basket. And I think I did mine a little bit bigger. And then I put some, uh, the Ghirardelli, uh, milk chocolate caramel. I thought caramel was fitting for fall. You know, we eat caramel apples and things for fall time. So I made her this little, little candy basket. And, um... This I just threw together. <laughs> I, I don't even, I don't have a tutorial on it. If you want one, I'll get you one. Um, this is a tea caddy, a little tea holder. And um, just flips out and it holds six teas in here. So, and then it, they're just glued down at the bottom. And then it just folds over and it velcros. And then just put a few little dilly dallies on it. Um, did her one of these. These are the lipstick ink pens you get from Amazon. And, um, I had ordered a box of them to, for swaps in that. And, uh, so, yeah. Just did her, this, uh, little, uh, envelope. Not envelope, but the packaging is, uh, Paper Pixie on YouTube. She has a tutorial if you just look up, I think it's, um, lipstick gift card or something but um yeah this is paper pixie from youtube oh let's see um you've seen me do these i think i or i know i even have a tutorial on my channel this is just a paper pad with a matching pen and that and i just did a little cut apart on the top and that uh, i want to say this is Five by eight or something. It's just one of the little legal pads from uh, Walmart. I found these little sunflower stickers. They were, you know, screaming fall at me. So thought they'd be nice to send and she can use them for whatever or give them away. Like I always tell everybody, don't always feel obligated to keep everything that I send you. 
if you can pass it forward because it's something that you know maybe you don't care for or you will never use and it's just going to sit there and collect dust and take up space in your craft room that you need for something else by all means please pass it along so if you have a kajillion of these stickers and like i'm never going to use these toss them in somebody's box i'm all about you know paying it forward uh, let me wrap this little bag, this little box bag, and then and then zip somewhere inside here. Um, I could not find any fall socks. Everything's just Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna send her these little trick or treat socks. They were cute. Um, this is a uh, two pack sheet masks. Put that in there, send along, and then you know me and my tissue fabric tissue holder. So I'm gonna send that along. It matches her bag. Oh, the neighbors are getting ready to go to work this morning and Oliver's gonna talk to him a little bit. Got that going to her. Um, let's see. This is a of oh, the pokey tool. I just stop and think and a little pokey tool, and then uh, I just made her a little pumpkin bead out of some clay, and then this one was just a glittered bead I had and stuck on there. So did her up this little pokey tool, and then I think this bead and this bead I made because I couldn't find any small beads to match that, so I thrown together a couple beads <laughs> just out of the oven baked clay. So send that along. do this one and get this big one out of the way. Did her this uh, paper crate. This is a dreaming tree file. And um, this is the, I'll try to tip it up and show you the front of it. And um, I just did a cut out. I just cut this out of some scrapbook paper and this is some scrapbook paper for fall that um, I was going to do a haul but I've had to crack into all my <laughs> into all my new um, fall scrapbook pads, but, um, I may still do one, but anyhow, um, what do I have inside? I've got her a little candle, uh, this is Pick of the Patch, and it smells like pumpkin, nutmeg, and cinnamon, it smells really good. And I found her some pot holders, because she does like to bake and cook and stuff. I see a thread there. Um, this is the dish towel that I always make and send along. So I made her that. Um, I just got her some skinny pop kettle corn. Sweet and salty, I figured. You know, fall time. Popcorn. And then I got her just some peanuts, almonds, pistachios, hazelnuts, and walnuts. It's a power blend. So, better some of those. And then this was a little, I don't know, I paid for the cutout file and made this little apple. It was not the easiest thing to put together. I was not impressed for the price that I paid for this, this printout and you cut it out. I was not impressed. And this just has some caramels in there, the uh, Werther's Originals. And I had to make it stick with us dot because it doesn't stay and yeah I was not was not impressed with that file at all this is one of the things I've got to get wrapped and I'm hoping I have enough uh, cellophane to wrap it up in See, I made her this sign that says bless our home and all who enter. Um, just had a scrap piece of wood and put that on there and then it's got a little hanger and you know it's got a little that's on the back, you're not gonna see it. So she can either hang it or she can just, you know, set it on the shelf or whatever she would like to do. Oh, let's see. 
And they made her these little wooden tags that this one says follows in the air and I just I painted them and, and then distressed them, mod podged um, just a you know, a photo that or an image that I'd gotten. And so I made her that and it's got a bow and some little things and a glue string. <laughs> This one says fall is in the air, and then this one just says hello fall. And if I, I tied them together, but if she wants to take them apart and then use them separate, she can. She can decorate the other one or whatever. Whatever she would like to do. Um, well, this is her card. I had just put a you know standard old card together. I haven't put a note in it or anything in the envelope. And it's just the cut apart popped up and layered up. It's morning here and I'm still kind of nasally and sinusy. I always wake up that way. I don't care what season it is. <clears throat> okay, I have this box here that I made and put some paper on it. and It's just unties like this. And then I've got to put some tissue paper in here, but I didn't do it until I uh, show the video. And then this is a cup caddy. She could put pens, pencils, or whatnots in here. And then, like, um, you know, let's just say she wanted to put a, you know, her craft blade there. And, uh, you know, maybe she has a, well, that's not a good example. Maybe a spatula or something. You know, you know, she can fit all kinds of little, little doodahs and things in there. So, I did a little mug caddy for her. This is just a plain old mug from Walmart or Dollar Tree. One of the two, I can't remember. Um, I usually get it, I think it is Dollar Tree because I looked at Walmart. And, uh, Walmart had jacked their cups up. They used to be like 98 cents. Well, I went in there and I looked, and because I always got them there because they were ninety-eight cents and they're a dollar and a quarter at the Dollar Tree. So uh, went to Walmart to pick one up, and they had them there, and they wanted a dollar seventy-four or something like that. And I was like, no. Oh. And it's the same, um, the same identical mug. Just you know, one says mainstay and one don't. So. I'm not going to tie that because I need to put some shred in there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I did up this box here. This is a uh, Scrap Queen tutorial. She does an album in hers, and I didn't put an album in mine. I'm using this as something else, but that's the top. And there's the side and the front here. It has a latch and this handle on it. And you can, you know, pick it up and carry it. And then it's got uh, hinges on the back. And I just decorate it with some sunflowers. And she said she liked the pastel colors of fall pastels. So I tried to get some pastel in there. There's a little bit of blue in there. But uh, yeah, you just open this up. Pop this open. And this is a... Uh, I, ca I call them spa day boxes. Because it's, you know, you're treating yourself, you know some good good spa type things so I've got a loofah in here that goes with the uh, this is the autumn my autumn harvest line and this is the autumn harvest this is the whipped body soap and you, you can use it on the, the loofah she's got two bath bombs in here and these are um, I believe I don't remember what the scent was for this. Oh, this was the blend that I made. Yeah. So she's got two of those in here. And then this is some solid bubble bath. You just break a piece off and crumble it under your warm water and it'll make a bubble. Bubbles. I like this stuff when I'm, like, if we travel or go somewhere because I know it won't leak in my luggage. I can just toss a couple in my luggage and I can take, you know, or if we go to a 
wherever, somebody's house or something, I'm going to take a bath, I can use my bubble bath. And then this is some of the Autumn Harvest uh, handmade. This is the lotion. And then here, this comes out. She can, this is just a little pocket. This will come out. I just got a little sticky dot there. And it just tells you how to use the uh, solid bubble bath. Because a lot of people have not seen that. Um, if they don't, you know, use Lush products or whatever. But most people know how to use bath bombs. And there's directions on the back on how to use that. So, the whipped body soap. So, she's got that. Try to tuck all this shred back down in there. Just close up. Let's see. And then I made her this. This was an inspiration. Somebody had posted one on Facebook in one of my group things that I belong to. One of the, and I can't remember which one it was now. But anyhow, she had got the inspiration from uh, I think it's a Meyer store, however you say it. And um, I loved it, but their blocks were like little teeny weeny ones, and I said, now nah, I want something chunky that she can use for decor. So it says, love on one side, and then fall on the other. And then, you know, you just, and I don't know where it says fall love, <laughs> but it's, you, you put it up and it says love fall. So, yeah. So, I had my husband cut, and it, it goes all the way around, so you, you can just twist them around and do that. So yeah, I had to wait for my, that's also the other reason why I told her I was going to be a little bit late because we were got behind and I had him cut me these blocks and he had to drill holes in them and then uh, usually he's off, well, not off during the week, but he only works a few hours in the office in the mornings, but last week since he's a, he's the safety coordinator, head trainer, driver, I don't know. He's got a title that goes this long. Anyhow, he had to uh, work. He had to go out and drive truck, so um, when he has to drive truck, he has to sleep, so uh, yeah, he didn't, he didn't get them drilled for me last weekend like I thought we were going to get done. We had some orders he had to get out. He had a bench he had to get done so um you know business before pleasure so he had to get that bench done and then he did my blocks that day and then uh he ended up getting called into work so we had to stop and come in and he had to go get it get into bed for a little bit before he had to leave out that night and um yeah here I'm thinking that's the last thing. Well, the whole, <laughs> the whole theme of our fall swap was a recipe book or five recipes or however you wanted to present five recipes. So this is another scrap queen. I love the woman. And this is another scrap queen uh, tutorial. So this is a recipe book and I used, I had laminated all this so you can wipe it off if you get it spills or smudges on it or whatever. And this will even wipe because this is uh, the faux leather and it was white and I dyed it pink to match my theme because it was pink. And this paper collection is, oh god lord, I can't remember the name of it right off hand. Um, if I have, I'll, I'll link things down below. So I always look in my description box. And, oh, uh, yeah. It was, can't think of the name of it. But anyhow, I didn't do it fall because I thought maybe, you know, she would, like, I don't know. It's not just for fall. It's, you put recipes in it for all year if you want. And I didn't want to just have an all fall thing for her. So, anyhow, it does this and then you have this pocket here and this pocket opens like this and then it's a clear pocket and then there's recipe cards in here and each thing I think I put one and then I think there's two in this one some recipes and I did this sausage penne pasta if you guys want a very quick fast uh, light meal this is great even in the summertime 
um, it's really good. I love this stuff. And then I did the creamy roasted chicken tor tortilla soup. This is really good in the fall. And then there's just some blank cards in here for her. She would like to write down extra recipes. And each one is the same. Each page is the same. And there's four signatures to the uh, to the book. So then you open this up, and then this one holds 12 recipe cards. So there's a lot of room for recipes. And each one comes out, and it's got a front and back to it. And then it's got a little you know, slot there, and all the recipes fit down in there. So there's that holds 12 recipe cards. And then this is uh, just a pocket, and this will hold a little folder booklet, and she can put, you know, like you get magazine clippings or something, and you have a recipe, and you just want to, you know, not put it on a recipe card. She could just open this up and maybe tape it in there and, or whatever, or she wants to write recipes up in here, she can. So each signature is the identical, the same. This one was a pecan cobbler recipe. And that opens the same, and yet once again, we are holding 12 recipe cards. And then the back, again, with another folder. So if she would like to break these down and put them into categories, you know, of like, you know, beverages, salads, sides, main courses, whatever she's more welcome to. And then this is a uh, friendship tea. This is made with the unsweetened instant um, iced tea and the um, Country Time Lemonade and tang, like the Tang Powder and you mix it up and she can you know make it up and gift it if she wanted to or whatever she would like to do with the recipes and once again we've got 12 recipes at the back again with a another paper folder and then this is a the copycat recipe for the Fiesta Lime Chicken this is really good so that recipe in there and then once again we got 12 recipes and another folder that houses a, a book. <laughs> so, and then that just all goes together. And she might have to fang dangle this elastic. I, I think I put too many. I've got my signatures a little too chunky. And I should have made a little bit bigger spine. But, all in all, it'll be fine. So, yep, it's kind of getting a little alligator mouthy, and I don't like those when they do that, but there we go. It's starting to get a little bit of an alligator mouth, but it'll be all right. And then, she's just there. There we go. Now we got her set in there. And, um, yeah, so that was the, and then I just did a little spine here, and it says recipes, and I just, you know did the wrap around with the elastic and then that's the back it just matches the front so that is my swap to Debbie so um yeah um I'm not gonna make this video any longer because it takes so long to upload a 30 minute video takes me two hours to upload and then I have to edit it and upload it so oh it's a it's a whole ordeal okay guys I'm gonna get out of here and, um, I hope Miss Debbie likes what I sent her, and, um, I love what she sent me. I still can't thank her enough for that beautiful swap. Oh, it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, if, uh, you want to see what Miss Debbie sent to me, check the video before this, and, um, it'll, you can see what she, all the goodies she sent to me. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. And remember, I love each and every one of you, and... I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.